A first alert weather alert day has been issued because of thunderstorms that are expected to continue into tomorrow. Look at this video right here. Now this was taken just to the east of Desert Center near Corn Springs Road and I-10. You can see that wall of dust moving across the desert, moving towards the west. So certainly going to be monitoring this through the remainder of this evening as that wind continues to carry it closer and closer to the Coachella Valley. Now let's take a look right now as to what to do. What do you do if you find yourself in a dust storm just like you saw? Number one is to pull off the road. If vis visibility has reduced to a point where you cannot see in front of you, pull off, set the parking brake, and you want to turn off your lights. The reason for this, I know normally in a rain, uh, rain situation, it's always about put your lights on. We want to be able to see you. With the dust, we actually don't want to distract nearby drivers. If they see lights off to the side of the road because visibility is so reduced, they may think the road is that way as well. So again, we want to stay safe. Pull over if visibility drops. And there is a dust advisory uh, from those thunderstorms kicking up the dust, pushing it from east to west. Now, all the green you're looking at, that is a flash flood watch that actually does not go into effect for the Coachella Valley until tomorrow morning. But this red polygon you're looking at right here, that is a flash flood warning in effect until 915 tonight. This does include Rice Road, high, uh, I 10 from mile markers 104 to 113. And it's these thunderstorms that are really just staying put. We're looking at a loop over the past hour and you really don't see them moving anywhere outside of that polygon from San Bernardino down into San Diego counties. Uh, yeah, just per depositing a lot of heavy rain in one area. Now here in the Coachella Valley, if we look towards the west, we see blue sky to the east. We can see all of those dark clouds those clouds building off in the distance. Those are the thunderstorms that we were just looking at on our radar. So again, we do have a first alert weather alert day for Tuesday because that's when the Coachella Valley becomes included with this flash flood watch. It goes into effect at 11 a.m. That also includes our local mountains not scheduled to expire until tomorrow night. So yes, the flash flood watch again for our Tuesday. What is a watch mean? That means conditions are favorable for flooding to occur. This is the time to be prepared. We have the ingredients together. They just haven't quite come uh, together in the right way to create flooding just yet. However, when a warning is issued like we're seeing out across the high desert, that means flooding is already occurring or it is imminent. Those ingredients have come together and have created flash flooding. This is when you want to take action and seek higher ground. On your Comfort Air 7 day forecast, yes, we are going to be monitoring storms as we head into tomorrow. Beginning tomorrow morning, Patrick Evans will be tracking those continuing into tomorrow afternoon as well. John Karen, this does drop our temperatures through midweek, but for the latter half of the week, we'll be drying out and those temperatures then once again steadily rising. Okay.